Lays on Me, a recording of original works written for the harp by Andre Caplet and Claude Debussy. This recording will be released on the Avi label, the noted label that I recently recorded with and collaborated on, the Parish Alvars and Sansal CD. Also on this recording, I will be joined by my dear friends, Roberto Diaz, concert violist and president of the Curtis Institute of Music, and Jeffrey Kaner, principal flutist of the Philadelphia Orchestra. They will join me on WC's Sonata for Flute, Viola, and Harp, so I'm pretty excited. I first came up with the idea of pairing these compositions by Caplet and Debussy. While spending time in Paris of 2008, while I was adjudicating the Lily Laskin International Harp Competition, while spending several days in this pristine little concert hall built in 1907, the Salle Gaveau, I contemplated these two men and their devoted relationship as friends and wondered if their friendship was not much different than our friendships as musicians. They probably discussed the same things we discuss today. They went to concerts and museums and cafes together. They discussed the frustrating rhetoric and politics. Except for one other recording from over 20 years ago, the Caplet, Mask of the Red Death, has not been recorded in this original conception, which will be for full string orchestra and harp. While the works of Debussy have been recorded often, the compositions of Caplet have gone virtually unknown. His early career uh, was given a jump start at the age of 23 uh, when he won Paris's biggest competition in musical composition. This was the Prix de Rome in 1901, demoting a certain Maurice Ravel into third place. His virtuosity caught the attention of Debussy and they soon became devoted friends. La Masque de la Mort Rouge resembles a Hitchcock score. This piece of music is so captivating and amazing, and it was actually based on Edgar Allan Poe's The Mask of the Red Death. It conjures up some kind of gory profile of a serial killer. Caplay's music is very forward-thinking. His tonalities and colors are almost more resembling in the Viennese school, not so much in the Impressionist era. And so what he does with the colors of the harp is, is really exciting. The amazing American conductor Michael Stern and the superb ensemble, the Iris Orchestra, just led wonderful performances of this music. I think it might be Michael's experience uh, conducting in Paris for so many years that brought such depth and color to these two works that I had never felt with another conductor. So I think that you will be very pleased with this recording.